A document type declaration, or doc type, is an instruction that associates a particular SGML or XML document with a document type definition. In the serialized form of the document, it manifests as a short string of markup that conforms to a particular syntax. The HTML layout engines in modern web browsers perform doc type sniffing, or switching, wherein the doc type in a document served as text HTML determines a layout mode, such as quirks mode, or standards mode. The text HTML serialization of HTML5, which is not SGML based, uses the doc type only for mode selection. Since web browsers are implemented with special purpose HTML parsers, rather than general purpose DTD based parsers, they don't use DTDs and will never access them even if a URL is provided. The doc type is retained in HTML5 as a mostly useless, but required header only to trigger standards mode in common browsers. DTDs equals syntax equals the general syntax for a document type declaration is URI or in XML, the root element that represents the document is the first element in the document. For example, in XHTML, the root element is being the first element opened and last closed. The keyword system in public suggest what kind of document type definition it is. If the public keyword is chosen then this keyword is followed by a restricted form of public identifier called formal public identifier enclosed in double quote marks. After that, necessarily, a system identifier enclosed in double quote marks too, is provided. For example, the FPI for XHTML 1.1 is W3CDTD XHTML 1.1 EN, and, there are three possible system identifiers available for XHTML 1.1 depending on the needs, one of them is the URI reference HTTP, www.3org XHTML 1 XHTML 1 transitional DTD. If, instead, the system keyword is chosen, only a system identifier must be given. It means that the XML parser must locate the DTD in a system specific fashion. In this case, by means of a URI reference of the DTD enclosed in double quote marks. The last part, surrounded by literal square brackets, is called an internal subset which can be used to add edit entities or add edit public keyword behaviors. The internal subset is always optional. On the other hand, document type declarations are slightly different in SGML based documents such as HTML where the public identifier may be associated with a system identifier. This association might be performed, e. g. by means of a catalog file resolving the FPI to a system identifier. Equals example equals, the first line of many worldwide web pages reads as follows. This document type declaration for XHTML includes by reference a DTD, whose public identifier is W3CDTDX HTML 1.0 transitional N and whose system identifier is HTTP www.3orgx HTML 1x HTML 1 transitional DTD. An entity resolver may use either identifier for locating the referenced external entity. No internal subset has been indicated in this example or the next ones. The root element is declared to be HTML and, therefore, it is the first tag to be opened after the end of the doc type declaration in this example and the next ones too. The HTML tag is not part of the doc type declaration but has been included in the examples for orientation purposes. Equals HTML 4.01 DTDs equals Strict DTD does not allow presentational markup with the argument that cascading style sheets should be used for that instead. This is how the strict DTD looks. Transitional DTD allows some older public and attributes that have been deprecated. If frames are used, the from a set DTD must be used instead, like this. Equals XHTML 1.0 DTDs equals XHTML's DTDs are also strict. Transitional and from a set. XHTML strict DTD. No deprecator tags are supported and the code must be written correctly.
XHTML transitional DTD is like the XHTML strict DTD, but deprecator tags are allowed. XHTML from ESET DTD is the only XHTML DTD that supports from ESET. The DTD is below. Equals XHTML 1.1 DTD equals XHTML 1.1 is the most current finalized revision of XHTML, introducing support for XHTML modularization. XHTML 1.1 has the stringency of XHTML 1.0 strict. Equals XHTML basic DTDs equals XHTML basic 1.0. XHTML basic 1.1. Equals XHTML Mobile Profile DTDs equals XHTML Mobile Profile 1.0 XHTML Mobile Profile 1.1 XHTML Mobile Profile 1.2 equals HTML5 DTD less doc type equals HTML5 uses a doc type declaration which is very short due to its lack of references to a DTD in the form of a URL or FPI. All it contains is the tag name of the root element of the document, HTML. In the words of the specification draft itself. In other words, case insensitively. With the exception of the lack of a URI or the FPI string, this format is the same as found in the syntax of the SGML-based HTML 4.01 doc type. Both in HTML4 and in HTML5, the formal syntax is defined in uppercase letters, even if both lowercase and mixes of lowercase uppercase are also treated as valid. In XHTML5 the doc type must be a case-sensitive match of the string. This is because in XHTML syntax all HTML public are required to be in lowercase, including the root element referenced inside the HTML5 doc type. As well, XHTML only accepts the uppercase inside the doc type string. The doc type is optional in XHTML5 and may simply be omitted. However, if the markup is to be processed as both XML and HTML, a doc type should be used. See also, document type definition contains an example, RDFA, XML schema, cascading style sheets. References External links, HTML doc type overview, recommended DTDs to use in your web document, an informative W3C quality assurance publication, doc type grid, another overview table, last modified November 27, 2006, quirks mode and transitional mode, box model tweaking.